Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's React to Attack on Titan openings. Today we're doing opening two after I finished season one, finally. What an awesome season. Best first season I think I've ever seen next to Westworld season one. That show went down the drain, unfortunately. I hope this one won't, and people have told me it won't, so can't wait for more. Uh, if you like this, could you like it, subscribing, commenting on what you thought of the opening, of course, but we will get right into it. I will listen to it first then watch the opening and then look at the lyrics and see what they bring us. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from here and have some fun. Let's go. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. So, opening... Two. It's called Jiju no Tsubasa, and I only know Tsubasa from Tsubasa Chronicles. Never watched it, but I know it's about football. I don't think this opening will be about football, so let's just go. Oh, interesting. Very triumphant. And it's German again. Oh, I can't wait for that. But I can't really make it up. I like the guitar they always have. And the choir. Very epic. Oh, and the opening one thing theme is a bit in the uh, uh, background. And something about a final thing. Yeah, it's like a play on opening one. I like that. Same instruments as well. It's like part two of opening one. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like opening one, but they're out in the open, you feel it. I mean, it fits for them being mainly on the uh, expedition arc. Yeah, it's like they finally got outside. I like that. That's the feeling I get. But I, I mean, having seen it. And you have the uh, opening one uh, huh, huh, in the background. Very, very, very... Yeah, okay. That was nice. I don't know if that was the whole thing. So now we will watch it. Can't wait for that. So, I'm not looking at thumbnails here because I've been told they spoil stuff. So, we start apparently with the boulder that sealed the wall. Let's go. Oh yeah, the open fields. And birds. Oh, all the birds flying away symbolizing the, the expedition. Yeah. Ooh. That was, I think, Anis Titan form. Yeah, them going forward. And war in the distance. And our squads, yeah. Yeah, weird. Bertolt, Christ and Freckles did do nothing. I hope they do more. Oh. Oh, wow, the blood on the window. Ah, and him bloody, the Stadamen. Oh, that's so it. Wow, Hanyu with the broken glasses. Ah, oh, and Levy squad. I'm not looking at the lyrics, by the way. We'll look at them later. Yeah, and they are their uh, hooks. Ah, oh, Levy. I love the close-ups on the gear. It's their, like, it was their hope until Egan's time form appeared, so... Why did Hanya bite herself? That's weird. Ooh, Evan. Oh, yeah, and Annie. Oh, that looks so awesome, Eren and Annie fighting. Yeah, man, what, the, what was that shot of Annie? That's so cool. So, uh, we will analyze it now, like, a bit. So, we've got, I think that's Walzina. Uh, so... We, we, we've we sealed the, the gate, we go out, like they, like they go into the expedition, of course, and then we've got all the birds flying to the horizon, signaling them going out as well, like it's nice parallel. I like the bird symbolism a lot. And it's very hopeful, the start of the opening, and I like that. It was like the way the arc started, and then we have the, the um, I don't know why the quality is so shit, of the screen. Um, anyway, we have the uh, the the red the the green smoke going up at the town, and yeah, man, I think this was a glimpse of the Ani Ani Titan. So weird. And then they ride ride out, and we see Eren on the horse. Uh, 
pondering, what, whatever. And then we've got the buildings. It's so weird. They never fought, really fought along among buildings. They fought among trees. But I guess there's a storehouse then. It's a, a symbolizing storehouse a bit. I love this war shot. Like the blue sky, like the last green land is gone and you're in war again. Everything's like, this is like a sunset or a sunrise. But it also gives the impression of stuff burning. And we see Jean. He, he sees the burning stuff. We see Sasha. Yeah, they're all like now in, in like at the brink of hell, so to speak. Yeah, why is Freckles there? Why is Krista there? They didn't do no what battle there? They do nothing. Like Annie is there. He did a lot. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah, oh, it really focuses on her. Wow, that might have been spoiler. It, no, it wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have gotten it. So we've got Eren. Uh no, we've got Mikasa. Eren drowning in the sea. Drowning in the unknown. You know, like the sea is something like chaos, unknown, not knowing where you are, sadness, uh, uncertainty, which is basically what he had almost through the whole last fight against Ani. Yeah, and there's the, the blue sky blood. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what there is. Like, they thought they had the blue sky and hope and freedom, and then the blood came and the titans came and Ani came and fucked them in the ass. And yeah. So this is Armin, I think. Why is Armin bloodied? I guess this is because he's going to be, I don't know, Percy, because he's going to be a commander and he will have the blood on his hands because he will make decisions. Might be foreshadowing. Uh, it might also be because he was uh, bathed in blood when his superior died against Ani. Yeah. We've got many candles here, probably s symbolizing the lives of the people who rode out. And only one remains there. Like, they all are snuffed out. Say for one lovely imagery. Yeah. And then we have uh, people in buildings. Yeah, and then we've got the titans. Oh, man, the titans in the mouth, gulping them down. Yeah, and this is like just war scenes. War, war, war. They're just getting effed. And uh, is this Levy Squad? Yeah, Levy Squad going in. So sad, man. They were awesome. Very, very awesome. Yeah, the hooks, I mean, that's the best bet they have. Like, if you're fighting Titans, the hooks are the best thing you have against them, so I like that. Levy being a badass, of course he is. Focus on the gear again, because that's their main thing. Um, yeah. And then there was a lot of stuff here, I think. Yeah, Hanyu was bloodied. I don't know why. I mean, she fought, but soaring, yeah, at her skies. Yeah, Levi again. Levi against the sky backdrop is like, for me, that means like, yeah, he's still at his way to freedom. He's not been bloodied. I mean, he has been bloodied, but like, he's not uh, stopped from it. And Erwin, yeah. Erwin failed so hard, but he couldn't do anything. In the end, he did the best. Like, Elvin failed, but he made the best out of the situation anyone could have made. So I really like that. Uh, yeah, and there is, I don't know, is that Eren? That looked weird. Something shattering. Yeah. And yeah, the Titan form emerging. And Annie in the background here. And who's that? I don't know. Yeah, this shot here, Annie's Titan form, that looks so awesome. And we see it through Eren's teeth. That's so interesting. Almost Eren's perspective here. Yeah. And the chains again. Brilliant stuff. So, I really like that. Now we uh, uh, go to the lyrics and let's see what they give us. I have seen there was some German like Freiheit means freedom and stuff. So, let's actually see what they mean. So, apparently, uh, I probably missed out on some of the stuff uh, because it's a longer song here. Like, uh, it's five minutes. But we will, I, it's probably, like, I don't, it, I don't know. I, I think it's okay what I did. So we, we, so we first have the German part. I will just translate all the German. And then we will get into the normal lyrics. Oh, mein Freund, jetzt hier ist ein Sieg. Dies ist der erste Gloria. Oh, mein Freund, feiern wir diesen Sieg für den nächsten Kampf. Okay. That's a bit rubbish German, but it's mainly okay. So it means, oh, my friend, now, here, finally, there is a victory. Like, the finally I added, it's not there, but... This is the first Gloria. Like, Gloria is like a, 
like you probably know it as like a call of of um, hooray, like like of 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 some some positivity. Oh my friend, let's celebrate this victory for the next battle, the wings of freedom or liberty. Okay, um, the enemy is horrifying. We bring the enemy is giant. We jump. Um, I don't know why they say this. Like the finest grausam, we bring. It's like it's like there is something missing in that. The second part is the find is riesig. We springen. That makes sense. Like because they jump up and use the gears. Um, so then we've got Gloria Sieg. Gloria is uh, Gloria. I think that's the same in English. Like there's this Christmas song Gloria in Excelsis Deo. That's basically where it's from. It's from Latin. Um, Sieg is victory. Flügel der Freiheit again is wings of liberty or freedom. Diese elenden Biester. Oh, that's like these, uh, these. Yeah, it's like, like this is a some somewhat of a curse word in this context. Like the, the, these fucking beasts. I would, I would translate it as fucking beasts. Elenden is like uh, these um, miserable. Like it would mean these miserable beasts. But if I would translate it, I would actually use fucking here. Because that's like, yes, it means miserable. But like there's this like 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 vitriol in it. Ring der Torheit, uh, Ringe der Torheit, which means rings of foolishness, werden vernichtet, uh, are uh, are vanquished. So these miserable beasts will will be vanquished, or these fucking beasts will be vanquished. This is the translation of the thing here. Wings of Liberty again. Die Freiheit und der Tod, die beiden sind Zwillinge. Die Freiheit oder der Tod, unser Freund ist ein. Oh wow, that's actually very cool. Freedom and death are both twins. Freedom or death? Our friend is one of those. Wow, that's very cool, I like that. Yeah, freedom and death are the same because to have freedom, we, we've talked about that at length in the anime already, so I will not like do too much here. But um, freedom, you can only get freedom if you risk something. And risking something means you risk death in the worst case. And in their case, it's death. Like, to fight for freedom, they have to risk death and many die. And that's why they're twins. Like, they're, they're intertwined. They're two sides of the same coin. And they're in real life as well. Wings of Liberty, Titanen, yeah, Titans. Uh, there's something interesting. I will probably do a... a, a, a a video on 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 titans because they're from greek mythology and they, they are very primal forces and i love that i will probably think more about titans after the anime is done uh, rechter weg linker weg na ein weg welcher ist it makes no sense <laughs> it does make a bit but der feind der freund mensch sie welche sind okay that also the grammar is really fucked here yeah? so uh, the right way the left way well, which way is it? So it's like wondering which way to go. But right way is also something like correct way. It's the same in English. Like right can mean like the direction or the, the opposite of wrong. It's the same in German. The enemy, the friend. Uh, what, is what is the human? Like, like it's wondering if, if human is the friend or the enemy. And that's such a great line here. Fits so much with Ani. Like, we don't know. Like Ani is the... Ani is probably a... Uh, an enemy, but Eren had trouble because he saw her as a friend, and he spared her because he saw her as a friend, and also because he saw her drive. So, yeah. Um, instrument, uh, uh, it's the musical instrument, or also the tool, it means tool. A uh, lead is song. Horizont der Freiheit. Uh, horizon of freedom, horizon of liberty. Hintere Front der Möglichkeit. Um, the backward, uh, backward front of possibility. Front is military, like the, the fighting front. Uh, yeah. And th th these, these fucking beasts will be vanquished again in the background. Uh, yeah, so, so this is basically uh, we, something we've had before. Oh, mein Freund, jetzt ist hier ein Sieg. Dies ist der erste Gloria. Oh, mein Freund, feiern wir diesen Sieg für den nächsten Kampf. Der Feind ist riesig, wir springen. Der Feind ist grausam. Yeah, that's like the German. I hope you found it a bit badass. 
I'm not the best voice actor because my voice is not like very gravelly. You need that here, I think. But I hope you still found it a bit cool. So we have this. It's uh, I will just skip through it a bit. Oh my friend, now there's victory. This is the first Gloria. Oh my friend, let's celebrate this victory for the next battle. The enemy is huge. We will jump. The uh, the enemy is uh, um, merciless. Something like that. So now we go. Now we go to the to the Japanese stuff. Let's see what that says. Okay, so there we are. No longer will our sacrifice be for nothing. We will fight to be free. Fight to the last. Fight we class with forces. Fight we clash with forces barbaric and colossus. We'll attack them. Fight in the name of Gloria, singing our victory. Flying on the wings of freedom we bear. Those etched upon our very soul. We will not falter here. We cut through the madness and fly high. We soar into the blue on the wings of freedom. Okay. That's apparently all there was. <laughs> so I guess there was the lyrics from the from the opening. Um, yeah, this is basically very well visualized. It's like they finally have hope. They finally go out. They fly into the blue sky. Some will be vanquished. But they're the wings of freedom, like they are like the birds flying into the horizon. And they even have the birds as a symbol on their coat of arms. Love that detail. Very nicely done. So um, it's very hopeful. And this, this line is the most important, I feel. No longer will our sacrifice be for nothing. Like that was one of the most awesome things of, of the second half of season one, I feel. They finally had hope. They started having hope when they found Eren's Titan transformation and they continue to have hope and it was so cool. But actually, let me see now if I find the complete lyrics. Okay, so I'm on the wiki. I did not get spoiled anything. So they're nice. They don't put like weird images here of season 50 or something. So um, it was a pointless death. Nobody should say that till we're down to the last one arrow. Yeah, so... That really, really, really signifies the sentiment a lot because so many people died, but, but it, that was like such a huge theme in the latter half of season two. They all died thinking they would not die a pointless death and they did before every single time. And I love the scene with Levi uh, like uh, um, taking hands with the dying soldier, telling him it was not in vain your death. And we were not sure there. I was not sure when watching it. I was not sure because Levi might have been lying to comfort him there. I don't know, though. He, I also don't think Levi is really the type to lie. But uh, yeah. And now, now they're like, until the last of us is dead, we have hope because we have finally a goal and a reason to go out. Um, With glory in our hands, we sing a victory, bearing the wings of freedom upon our black. Yeah, them going out. Um, clenching our resolve to our hearts, we tear through the spiral of foolishness. Let us dance in the clear skies. Yeah, we had that, I think. The bird broke through its shell to soar through the skies. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. That is so awesome. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can also see it like there in the city. And it's the inception of a second humanity, so to speak. They, they have to break from their eggshell into the real world and challenge the real world to, to conquer it again and to, to live in it again. I love that. What are wings for? Isn't the sky within your cage too narrow for you? Yeah, there's a sky in cages where, like, like it's like, I would be, I would think it fits more like, is the air within your cage too narrow for you, perhaps? But I get why they use sky as a very beautiful visual here. As for why we were born, I'm afraid I don't know the answer to these complicated things and no one, no one knows. No one knows why we are born. And I think I've talked about that as well in the reaction. The, 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 the purpose of your life is the purpose you give. That's my, my stance on this question. And um, it might sound shallow a bit, but if you think about it, I think there's a lot of truth in it and that's just my take on it. But even if that were a mistake, I know what we're living for. It's nothing logical. We exist, therefore we are free. So they exist to, to be free, to go out into the world and find out more. The hidden truth will be the charging arrow, probably referring to Eiren uh, and his titan form. 
It will pierce the sealed inner layer of darkness as well as the titans lurking in the outer layer of light. With our previous beliefs crumbling away even though we feel lost, let's nevertheless march towards freedom. That as well, there is, there is a theme of giving up the things you thought were true um, for, um, for um, oh, I, I realized I have the Wheel of Time background. I'm sorry. Imagine the Colossal here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like when you learn something new, you, it is often the time that you have to dispose of something you thought you knew. So trying to be free, like freeing your mind is the process of admitting you're wrong and changing your worldview, and it's hard. That's why learning is so hard. Because if you truly learn, it's like you change your view on the world. And, and that's, that's one of the things that is most important in, in learning stuff to know, I think. Um, because, you know, this is my, my main area of expertise in research, you know, um, learning. Like, like I'm, I'm, I would say I'm, I'm an expert on learning how it works. Like, that's my... And there is a certain, like, like in physics learning is my expertise, and I'm probably one of the world leading people there, I guess. So, um, but um, um, when you learn something, your worldview changes. That's why it is so hard to teach, because when you teach people, you have to change their worldview. It's not like you don't give them new facts. It doesn't work like that. If you give someone a fact, they will just repeat it, spout it out, and they will not understand what it means. To, to truly understand what it means, they have to change their worldview. And um, when you teach physics, and this is perhaps a bit of a tangent, so you learn a bit about what I normally lecture at university about, very shortly, I will not bore you too much. So um, there's this uh, thing called a student conception, or I would call it a mental model. So you've got mental models about everything in the world. Like you basically are the collection of your mental models, even I would say, but people might contest that, but I would say that, like, that's my opinion. Um, so you have these models of the world. So you try to model how the world works to grasp it, to understand it. And um, in physics, you do that as well. Like every, every notion about physics you have is like a mental model you have. Might be an image linked to something, some functionality. Mostly it is. So you have that in your head. And you think it's true. Like, like if it's a real metal model, you think that's true. Like if it's a, or if it's a developed one, like, like you have something in your mind, an image, and you think you know how this works, what you imagine. And to learn something new is often to change this image. And this image is part of you. It's part of your worldview. So it's so, so hard. So you get thrown into this unknown first, like your, your mental model doesn't fit anymore to the world. And that's learning. Like you have to do that to learn because otherwise, why would you change your mental model if you like if your mental model doesn't change, if your if your understanding of something doesn't change, you don't learn anything per definition. So like like what you think is true has to be wrong to learn something. So um if you go out into freedom, into a free world where there is unknown, you per definition have to let go of your beliefs a bit at least. And I'm sorry this was a tangent. I hope it didn't bore you too much. I don't I never know if talking about my work bores you. I, I'm doing it anyway. You can't change it. You can skip through it, but anyway. So that's like why I love this line. Uh 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 with our previous beliefs crumbling away, even though we feel lost, let's nevertheless march forwards towards freedom, towards knowledge as well. I love that line. That's my favorite line in this currently. Let's see if there's another one. Um, with the instrument in our hands, with the tool in our hands, we sing of hope, bearing the horizon of liberty or freedom upon our backs. Yeah. So they, they, that is well, instrument, they, they mean Ehren here, because he is a tool. He's a soldier, and that's why he's a tool, or he, and he's also a tool because he can transform into a titan. And I was actually very confused about this when I watched the episode, and I was a bit cross with them, that, uh, um, treating Ehren as a tool, and someone told me in the comments that that person was completely correct, and I misunderstood it, uh, that the moment they, they were drafted into the military, they became tools for the country. Like, and that's harsh, but they are. Like, that's how they are seen, and that's how they are seen by the people as well a bit. 
like not by all like we have the children that ch cheered for them when they went out and came back but like that's basically how they are seen like survey core is seen at least in most part of the season as a useless tool they have um yeah anyway harboring the change that connect the world to uh, in our hearts we play a song of what lies beyond the possible again going out learning into the unknown i love that dancing through the clear skies yeah um, yeah, that was it. I really like this one. This one is cool. Like it wasn't as 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 big as the other one, um, but I really love the lyrics here. Hope you learned something about uh, physics education as well and psychology of learning. Oh God, I hope I didn't uh, bore you. But um, that was the reaction to opening two. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, I didn't listen to the whole thing. I assume it's like the same theme again and again. I like the callback to season one, uh, part one. It was like a developed theme of that. So anyway, anyway, now we've got the Colossal Titan again. Yeah, also, uh, if you want, uh, you can um, you can perhaps suggest um, uh, 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 like images you want for a season two background. I don't know. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this a bit. And as always, take care of uh, yourself and uh, I will see you soon. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, check out volume one of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Vidith 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.